joining a club like Stoke, you, you need to have ambitions of getting to the Premier League. I think the fans will uh, obviously have those ambition, ambitions to get back. Yeah, as soon as I knew the interest, um, it's something I was really keen on getting done. Um, obviously the club is looking like it's gone in a, a different direction and um, signing loads of new players. and. Um, obviously, I've worked with the manager before, so it was a no-brainer, really. I don't want to do him a disservice, because there will be times when he gives you a, a 9 out of 10. I don't really give 10s out of 10s, but he can give you a 9 out of 10. But you're, bare minimum, expecting a, a solid 6 or 7, a performance that you think, you know what, you can hang your hat on him on a big game, in a big occasion, away from home, lights are on, and you're expecting him to, to perform at a high level. So I think the fact that he's got that experience, and we can lean on that when we need to, I try to lead by example every single day, uh, have high standards and, and drive my teammates on as best I can. I think um, my energy um, when I'm out on the pitch can, can help others and um, yeah, so definitely uh, it's something that I've kind of took to the role in the past few years at Sunderland uh, with a young squad and hopefully I can do the same here. Probably the biggest thing that maybe the fans won't see on a day-to-day -day with Lyndon would be his work on the training pitch and the standards. I think that's something that often goes overlooked at times, would be someone's impact on the group, um, driving those standards every day on the training ground. So character-wise, ticks every box for us. And obviously the fact that he can you know, provide a, a positive impact in a number of positions makes it a no-brainer for us in terms of someone we want to bring in and, and not just commit to for one year, but obviously as someone that we see as part of this next chapter for Stoke City. First and foremost, I, I work hard. Um, like I say, I bring a lot of energy up and down the pitch and um, I love getting forward um, as an, like, an attacking fullback or a wingback and um, I can play all over the pitch so that helps. I've played every position for someone so um, yeah, wherever wherever's needed, I'll, I'll put a shift in for sure. A positive is knowing the manager. He knows what I can do on the pitch and I know what he expects of me as well. Um, and hopefully I can be uh, an influence on the dressing room. You know, I'm a quite experienced player now. Obviously we worked with London at, at Sunderland. Um, he was excellent for us there. He's got great energy, great determination. He's up and down, he's got good quality when he gets in the final third. So yeah, it's, it's one of obviously, like you say, we've worked with and hopefully he can do well here. So yeah, Sunderland's a big club and the expectation's high, similar to here. So um, he's experienced playing for a big club before, so hopefully he can take that in um, and use that here. And I'm pretty sure for him he'll be excited. It's a new challenge. He's been at Sunderland a long time and he'll be looking forward to getting going, I'm pretty sure. A lot of the, the recruitment, yes, has been some players from abroad, but some players from, from, um, from England and the UK in general. The balance and striking that balance we, we think is, is a top priority. We want to have a good blend. That's probably a word that you've heard myself and Alex and Ricky use all, all summer long. And the blend is important. And having those, li those ones that are the glue that maybe can, can bring together a couple of different groups in terms of the, the characters in the dressing room uh, is very important for us and we see Lyndon as that type. He can be a bit of a glue. Having someone who knows the level, knows what it takes, um, but has experience dealing with a, a, a multicultural dressing room, we think is only a benefit for Stoke and, and Lyndon provides that in abundance for sure. So he ticks a lot of boxes for us. He's got a determination and a will to win. So I think when you look at the guys, they can lead by example as much as by, um, by what they do and what they say. So yeah, definitely he's got that in him and hopefully he can add that to the group.